Okay guys, it is a little early to be doing this, but I decided to do it anyway. I am doing Phase 10 Chooses My August TBR. Today is only July 21st. I will go ahead and tell you that I have so far completed um, all but three of the books. And the three books I have not completed so far are Wind Witch, All Light We Cannot See, and Starsight. However, I do have a plan to at least finish these two, and I'll probably finish this one. So as of right now, I'm going to act as if I have not completed them by the end of the month. And in my vlogs, because I will be vlogging in August, you will see if I did. Because I have changed some of the rules. And I'll explain those rule changes right now. So, first of all, I added a rule. If I need specific books for a readathon, or I can't find a book that fits with the prompts that I get, I may use wild cards to up the number of different colors in runs. So, I've added also my rewards and my punishments. So originally I was just going to do, if I finish 1 through 10, I can buy a book, and if I finish the wild and skip, then I can, um... Then I can just add two more books. However, I realized that I don't actually self like I have no self control, and if I see a book I want, I will buy it. So I decided on different um, rewards. So if I finish all ten phases, I can choose one phase to mood read. So as of right now, I have not finished all ten phases, so I don't get to choose a phase to mood read. Um. If I finish the skip, I can skip a phase without consequence, so I may do that. I might skip um, phase 10. And if I finish the wild, I can I can do one phase where, where, okay. So if one of the rules is if I don't complete the phase on my first try, then I have to get two phases then I have to do or I have to choose two books so for the wild card if I complete the wild card in a phase where I have to read two books I can change that into a single now this month I only man I only had one phase where I had to choose two books that was phase 10 however because I changed how the wild and skip cards work I um, ended up with a lot of them and what I mean by that is I decided that if I got five wild cards, then I would add a, an extra book. And if I got three skips, I would add an extra book. Because I did that, I changed it from only one per game. And I ended up with four books I had to choose for wild card and only one skip book. So, that was long and lengthy. I hope you understand and I will explain more when I get down to it. Let's get into the books I picked. For phase one, I chose to use the eight blue, which is a hyped fantasy. And for that book, or for that book, I did Words of Radiance Part One by Brandon Sanderson. B. Um, this one also works for my new TBR. I'm trying to be a librarian and this one works for Ancient Runes. A, the author's name has to start with the B. Completely forgot to mention, but I want to read the 
Words of Radiance because I'm also joining the Storm Along 2020. Um, and they're reading the Words of Radiance in both uh, August and September. So you have to have it finished by the end of September. So I'm just going to read part one in August and part two in September. Phase two, I chose 12 yellow, and that is TBR Vet Contemporary, and I chose red, white, and royal blue. This one is one I can sub in for my new TBR, because to get a O in Ancient Runes, the prompt for O is to read a romance, and I chose a different book, but this is a romance, so if I don't get to that one, I can just sub this one in. For phase three, I chose 12 blue, which is a TBR vet fantasy. And for that one, I chose The Ring of Solomon by Jonathan Stroud. This is a prequel novel to the Barmaeus trilogy. It still follows Barmaeus, however, it follows him in the past, and he's working with Asmira, and she is a skilled and loyal captain, captain of the Queen of Sheba's guard. She's trying to save her country from Solomon's imminent attack. Um, and she ends up offering him something he can't refuse. I'm not even going to try to explain this one. I don't know how. Red, white, and royal blue by Casey McQuiston follows the son of the President of the United States and the son of the King of England. So the Prince of England and then like the kid of the President. And they actually hate each other but this ends up being like a hate to love romance. For phase four, I chose Seven Yellow, which is a new author, and it's an other, and for that one I chose, where'd it go? It's hiding from me. Here, yeah, no, that's not it. Where'd it go? As I am missing a book. Did it fall? It fell. I chose Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. This one also fits my new TBR because to get the A in History of Magic, I needed to read a historical fiction. Um, this book in particular follows a girl 
named Vivian Daly or Daly. And she basically lives on the orphan train and it I don't know. It follows her and another girl named Molly. And Molly is doing community service to stop her so from going to juvenile. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll read it together. Or not together, but you know what I mean. For phase five, I chose Seven Red, which is a new author contemporary, and I chose Summer, Summer at Firefly Beach by Jenny Hale. This one is the one I originally chose for my romance for Ancient Runes. This gets me the O that I need. Well, I'll read the other two at least. For phase six, I chose classic sci-fi, and for that one, I kind of stretched it a real little. This is the Callahan Chronicles. It does have all three books in it. I don't know if this is considered a classic, but it is a sci-fi, and I'm considering it a classic. This one can sub in for my classic, which is E in um, Ancient Runes. So that if I read this, it would get me the E in Ancient Runes. For phase seven, I chose Seven Green, and that is new author sci-fi. And I chose Saturn Run by John Sanford and Satine, S-T-E-I-N. I haven't read from either of these, so he, they are both new authors to me, so it works. I don't know what that book is about, so I can't can't tell you. So for eight, I did two yellow, and it's over 300 pages other, and I chose Little Creeping Things by Chelsea Icasso. This is a thriller, so it fits in the other prompt or other category, and it is 317 pages if you consider the, consider the acknowledgments. It's like 315 if you don't. Um... This book is about Cassidy Pratt, and she accidentally starts a fire when she is young, and it kills her neighbor. Um, everyone in town, like, she thinks she didn't mean to, but everyone in town thinks she did, and so there is this particular um, bully named Melody Davenport, and she bullies her and thinks she's a murderer, and she always will be. Melody ends up going missing, and Cassidy thinks she may have information about what happened, but she's kind of hesitant to go to the cops because she has a written down plan on how she would get rid of Melody. 
she also gets this text from an unknown number that says, I'm so glad we're in this together. Now it's up to Cassidy to figure out what's really going on before the truth behind Melody's different disappearance sets the whole town ablaze. Okay, so for one of my prompts, I got randomized other, um, and I've just kind of decided to cheat because only one of these is technically an other, and that is Pride and Prejudice because it's a classic. But I'm going to do one, two, three, random number generator, and whichever one gets picked. These two are technically fantasies, but I need to read Pride and Prejudice. I need to read for the newts. However, I do have another classic on my TBR. This just didn't fit because it was supposed to be a classic sci-fi. Um, and so I have these two, and these two would work for mostly black cover, and it just kind of depends. So I'm going to set up a random number generator on my phone. If I can type my passcode in correctly. There we go. Random number generator. Okay, here we go. And the max is going to be three. All right, let's go generate three. So, Cursed by um, Thomas Wheeler is what I'm going to be reading for my randomized other. I have a clip for phase ten, um, 9, which I chose for 4 yellow, and it's randomized other. In that clip, I say that I kind of cheated a little bit, and I only cheated on one. However, the book it chose, I think, does not cheat. The book it chose was Cursed by Thomas Wheeler. And while this is a fantasy, I think you can also consider it a retelling. I think it is a King Arthur's retelling. So I um, used this one just to s skip back a little bit. Little creepy things would get me the A in defense, which against the dark arts, and that is horror thriller. Cursed would get me the E in history of magic, and that is um, to have mostly a book with mostly black cover. I think. I consider this a King Arthur retelling, so it's not cheating. So for phase 10, I had to choose two books, and that is uh, Classics and Other. Um, so I choose Pride and Prejudice, which I used to get the E in Ancient Runes, which is just to read a classic. If you, I don't really know what this is about, honestly. And I also chose Friday by Robert A. Heinlein. So I have three books I could read for that particular prompt. So after that, I got four. I have four sets of wild cards. I ended up getting one, two, three, twenty-one wild cards used from me. Twenty-one. So I had to choose four, four series books, and I chose *The Mists of Avalon*, which I have started this book this month. It is eight over eight hundred pages, but it is another King Arthur retelling. Um, so far I'm liking it, but I've only read like chapter one. I also chose to finish off the um, Ink Heart Trilogy and read Ink Death. I am part of the way through this already, so hopefully it won't take me too long. I also decided to 
finish off the e uh, Eon duology. It just says the sequel to Eon, but I'm reading Eona. And I wanted to finish off the Children of the Lamp series, and that is the last book is The Great Robbers of Genghis Khan. I um, only used four skips, so I only had to read one reread. And for that one, I chose Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo because I just really wanted to reread this book. Um, so I know I kind of explained it, but I didn't do a really good job. So this is going to be my newt section of my TBR. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to start with Ancient Runes. I needed to get an O, so I have three books I need to read for that. The first book I'm reading for that to get my acceptable ranking is Brandon Sanderson, Words of Radiance. The prompt for that is to read a book where the author starts, one of his names starts with a B, Brandon starts with a B, obviously. The next one is to read a classic, and I have a couple that would work for that one, but the one I chose is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. To get my O, I needed a romance. I have, I think, a couple that could work for that one too, but I chose Summer at Firefly Beach by Ginny Hale. Now, I also needed to get an E in Defense Against the Dark Art, so I had two books I needed to read for that. To get an acceptable, I needed to read a horror or thriller, and for that one, I chose Little Creeping Things by Chelsea Icasso. To get an E, I needed to read a book that either had demons in it or kind of had something to do with water, and so I chose The Ring of Solomon by Jonathan Stroud because Barmaeus is a demon. I also needed to get an E in History of Magic, so I had two book, more books to read in that one. A is Historical Fiction, and so I chose to read... Where did it go again? Why do I keep losing this one book? Found it. Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. Then to get my E, I need to read a book with a mainly black cover. So I had a different book picked out, but based because of how um, my TBR went, I am reading Cursed by Thomas Wheeler. So that is my TBR. You will know in the vlogs if I get to mood read a phase and if I get to uh, churn my phase 10 into only one book. I might, I might make it my wild into one book because I have like four books. Um, and I might just skip phase 10 because I have, I did complete my skip. I did complete my reread of The Astonishing Color of After, so I could just skip phase 10, but I will tell you guys in my vlogs what I choose to do with my rewards. And I am not punished because I already finished seven books from my previous TBR. Alright, so I will talk to you guys again in August when I do my wrap up and when I start my vlogs.